Welcome back to Woodward Sports. Ryan Armani, Braylon Edwards, and Dr. Jeff Pierce, our injury insider here on Woodward Sports, Michigan Sports and Spine. How you doing, Dr. Pierce? I'm good. How are you all? I'm good. It's been a long week for you guys. It's been a long week, man. I'm a little tired, man, for, so, so forgive me. But uh, it's a smooth week. It's a smooth weekend coming up. No golf. No time, no obligate, no obligations in Ann Arbor. So uh, be relaxing, if you will. Look at that. Wait, you are gonna play golf, or you? Are? No golf. No golf. No golf. No Although golf. It's, a, it's it's beautiful, but I'm tired, man. <laughs> my back, my back hurts. My ass crumbling. You know what I'm saying? My spine's crumbling. Well, what do you think? You're the Lions. You need a week off and <laughs> recover. What? You're like the Lions. I want a week off. Yeah. Which, I've been going. Unlike the Lions, I've been going since April. <laughs> I'm going to say, so I'm tired. Man, uh, need, need a week off. Dr. Pierce, what have you been up to? What do you got going on this week? This week? It's or kind of, what have you done this week? What are you doing this week? Ah, uh, this week uh, has been a little slow, a little holiday thing going on. Happy um, New Year, by the way. Thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm looking to actually golf because there's only a few more weekends left of this. So I got invited Sunday, but uh, maybe. Huh? Me might maybe sitting down. All right, let me know. Let me know. But yeah, I mean, concerts coming in. Just got a call for a concert on Wednesday. Pink's coming in. You know, she's always really good about being proactive and making sure her medical care is set up before and all that. But you know, I did want to hit on a couple of things that are a little bit misnomers in life. You know, especially for the guys on the back nine, not to start leading you guys. I, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> hey, man, I'm here for it. This is right <laughs> up my alley. I love this stuff. The uh, We talked about a little bit about misnomers of, like, why you go to a nursing home, right? You go to a nursing home to die. That, that's got, we got to stop thinking that way. We have a very strong rehabilitation programs that actually Michigan Sports and Spine is sponsored. We're, we've moved into other states for that also, but... That nomer that you, you go to a nursing home to die, that, that's, that's done. But the other thing that's more relevant, and I talked with some of my entertainers and athletes, it's like they're just wearing their joints out. It's like just let the joint wear out and then you'll replace it. That's the totally wrong attitude to take these days. Like Braylon and I talked a little bit about his shoulder. You know, about, you know, we talked about shoulders last week. Same kind of thing. It's just like there's a lot to be done. There's a lot of biologics. There's a lot of just conservative aggressive treatment like Michigan sports and Spine, it's always been conservative aggressive treatment and that's what's happening you know I'm still talking to people that are very educated like well when it wears out you know I'll push it till it wears out and then I'll get a joint replacement no when you get that first injury what is a prevention program right so we really want to talk more about prevention programs and you know right now I think that's where I want to focus you know, educating the people on if you have a little, little, if you're the guy wearing a brace and you're still trying to play weekend basketball, there's more stuff you can do. I don't know what I hit with Fraylin, but um, <laughs> that, that's it's Friday, baby. Th- that's what you want to start seeing. You want to see those guys where, what are you going to look like 10, five years, 10 years, 20 years from now? How can we make that look better now? In today's medicine, it's getting more challenging because you got to fit into their matrix if you're going to get treatment. But what can you do with the trainer? What can you do in the gym? What can you do to help yourself prevent that? So I'm going to stop that's, there. That's idiotic that you know individuals that are intelligent or and older and think that way because that's definitely not the, the way to go. As a person has had injuries, now, I mean, I, hadn't, I haven't had them later in life, but an injury is an injury, none the same. There are residual damages, man. Like, never would I want to openly say, I'm preparing for surgery. I'm going to just run this thing out. No, I agree with the things you've done. Just in kind of like the last seven years for me, kind of like retirement. If, well, I guess it's been 10. Damn, what happened to the time? But <laughs> in the last 10 years, you start to realize, oh, okay, then I can do this. So I can do that. I can swim in the pools. There's some things working with Doc. He has some special sauce and aggressive, aggressive uh, training that they do as it relates to biologics. So do the things necessary to maintain and sustain as long as you can. Surgery is always a last option. Always a last option. Right. I mean, the other thing that sidelines from that or, or vertical from it or whatever we want to talk about, it's like people are losing weight right now. The, the Ozempic craze. I lost 30 pounds since February on uh, that. 
on it. Yeah, it's not Ozempic, but it's uh, it's it's the it's a certain peptide. It, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, what do you call it from a compound pharmacy? It's not the Ozempic is the name brand for the semiglutide. It's just a generic semiglutide. Right. So what's going on is that there's getting better designer ones, but the problem mm. is is that you're losing weight and you're not exercising. That's true. No matter how you're losing <laughs> <laughs> That is that is do a we, problem. Do we put a pause in there? Right, yeah. Can we put a pause and I, 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 I let's absorb so this? That's some, not Ryan, but you got others to get offended. Uh, but my issue is, and it's coming from my friends that are dealing with it, mm -hmm. because the people on the back nine, you don't realize what spiral effects you're going to start having. Because when you start losing your muscle mass, you're going to do it just from an aging process. There's all these things out over 50. You need to do A, B, and C to maintain your muscle bulk. But if we just break down the hip, right? If you're not creating that core musculature around the hip, you're putting more pressure on a degenerative joint. Everybody's got degeneration. They're like, I have Yeah, you all have degeneration. We, it's a generic term that's put out there. But if you think about it, I've always pushed, and probably in our earlier shows, I talked about core around every, every extremity, around your elbow, around your shoulder. When we talk about sports, there's core musculature. So getting away from it, because it's a bye week with the Lions, we can talk about common Joe. When you start not working out, you start losing your muscle mass. You start losing weight. Ozempic takes away your muscle mass also. So you have to build up that muscle mass to actually get control of the core muscles around it. So if you don't do it, what's going to happen? You now take the hip that's bone, you know, bone, limited bone, arthritic changes, and you take away the musculature core around it, you now put ten to, six to ten times more pressure on that hip itself. On that hip itself. You guys are funny right now. So do you understand what I'm saying? Is yeah, it I do. Sense? Yeah, Maz was waving, and I don't know why he's waving. At, at, at Maz is just in there trying to find something to do. He's having fun. He's enjoying <laughs> it. waving at me. He's got a case but of the fried no, I, Doc, I do understand what, what you're talking about. And while we're talking about these weight loss drugs, you know, there's no... Obviously, the best way to do it is diet and exercise, right? Yes. That would be the, the healthiest, best way to do it. Um as an option for, you know, there, I have no excuse not to work out. I mean, if I wanted to work out, I'd make time to work out. His schedule is ridiculous, though. But it is an option, and I will tell you, as somebody that does take these, uh, this medication, I do feel better by losing 30 pounds. So being that heavy is like, you know, I was, I was 245, 242, now I'm 212. Like, That's great. being at 242 is not like... My back, my knees, every carrying that extra weight yeah. is is you down, is no. um, you right. know harmful as well. Now, <laughs> having lost that weight, I I do feel uh, I don't know I don't want to say feel, feel awesome, lighter. but I feel, I do yeah. feel a lot better. You know, I, I'm not yeah. I'm not knocking that part, but don't don't take for granted the other part because 100%. you're going to snowball. Totally agree with that. If you lose that muscle structure around each joint. It's your hip. It's your, it turns into your back, your knee. Like just a weak ankle. If mm -hmm. you don't pay attention to your ankle, yeah, that's true. your ankle's going to get weaker. You start well, I mentioned my shoulder last week. Like my shoulder's killing me. Right. So <laughs> you've got to build that core muscle around it. The point is, is that this, if you eliminate the muscle, the ligaments, and the strength of it all, on, a, on any joint, you're going to have wear and tear on that, and you are going to lead to a total joint replacement. That's not what you want to do. I for however you lose the weight, let's just put that over here. We're losing weight, mm. but don't let it replace. You do feel better because yeah, you take forty pounds off. You're breathing easier. You're going up and down mm. stairs easier. But now take that opportunity to escalate yourself another step. Right. And it's not like oh, I want you powerlifting. You know, I, I want you exercising, conditioning, and understanding what's going to happen to that joint. Like I have a, a very good friend that that's his issue. He calls me, he's like, I picked up a stupid bag and my back went out, okay? He's lost a lot of weight. He looks very thin and his muscle bulk is gone. I, I completely understand uh, what you're saying and I agree with you. As you're talking, I do 
think how I feel in some of these instances if I'm doing work in the yard or if I'm lifting uh, bags of dirt or whatever the case, what I might be doing in the yard. It, I do feel a little bit, um, I don't want to say brittle. That's not the right word, but I do understand what you're fragile. talking about. Yeah, a little bit. I, uh, I'm anti-fragile, though, as uh, Dan Campbell wears a T-shirt <laughs> for that. Let me ask you, one of the, one of the things I appreciate, appreciate about you and one of the things that I've always appreciated about you is that you do focus on preventative medicine. Oh, God, Pre yeah. Preventative. And I think, you know, there's such a idea around um, doctors, per se, that, you know... Come just to start, me and I'll give you a pill. Exactly. Just start prescribing stuff. Prescribe, yes. prescribe, prescribe. If, if we got into the headspace of really trying to prevent you from getting sick, prevent you from having surgery, prevent you from doing all these things, I think this would be a much healthier society. Uh, no money would yeah. be in that. Well, <laughs> that's the problem. No, yeah. There is money in it, and yeah. there's savings, and we may have Medicare dollars sure by the time we can. get there. But you're right, it's, it's getting harder. Like I said on the other show, you don't have many doctors that are peeling back to find out what the real reason is, or what I was saying with you guys mm. last week. You need to go to a doctor that will peel back, that will understand, mm. that is proactive. He's not the guy who just reacts and says, here's a pill. It's not really the guy you want to go see. It's, you know, but you don't want to be a hypochondriac either. So it's, it's just like, like I teach my residents, if we can't figure out what's wrong with the patient, that's lacking on us. That person, if they're not, if we've already ruled out a hypochondriac and they're coming in for a real reason, that's on us knowing what what to do or what not to do or to stay in our lane and to understand that you know this is a, we're going to try this but this is step 1 of getting to that end goal right mm -hmm. so i do look i started prevention the day i started practicing because i did see things that i was not happy with i saw practices here you know the, the so called pain clinics you know and and i know i talked to you guys about gervin and you know we're t we're flirting with doing our own podcast. George Gervin, something uh, for the audience out there the watching. Man. Yeah, the Iceman. The ice uh, man I mean, cometh. The, the very you know very good friend of mine. We talk a lot, and we got philosophical yesterday about addictions and all this stuff going on. I don't want to bring up you know what's going on in the entertainment world, but those people are crying for help. He 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 lives in that addiction world of recovery, you know. It's how do we identify what's really going on with that person who's suffering. Doc, that's so powerful. I, I, I hope you do do that because I think the more, specifically, the more men that talk about that stuff, I think the better we all are for it. Um, because guys, we all hide and we all try to be tough and we can beat this and we can do this and we can do that. But I think the more men that speak out about, you know, addiction or, or recovery and stuff like that, uh, like George Gervin does, I, I think that is uh, remarkable stuff. I, I hope you do do that. Yeah, we just we, we just need that platform. But oh, I wonder <laughs> if we have one here. Uh, we we've got one here. We can have one. Well, he's in San Antonio and he ain't flying here every week, so uh, we'll, we'll figure this that thing, part. It's called uh, technology. No, <laughs> you know it, it was it was cool because Gervin, people know him as his, his you know his laugh, his giggle, whatever you're gonna call it, and his finger roll, but. As a human, like we talked about Matumbo, and I had some good times with Matumbo, and he taught me a lesson through what he did with his family, what he did back to his culture and his country. I mean, the man's wonderful, but German's another person like that. I really, you know, we talk about him at this level, and we have people here in Michigan, but I just have a closer bond with him. But, you know, it, it's a cry for a help a lot of yeah. times with addiction. But you can't always blame an athlete or an entertainer because they're addicted to be that good at what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, to be that dedicated, you have to have that, that personality. So if we label it addiction or commitment or grit or whatever, it's part of that, that psyche that, that all blends together that sometimes gets clouded. So getting too deep today. No, I love it, though. I love the conversations like this. I could do this with you all day. I could do it. But to the listeners like it. Well... <laughs> I think they do. Why wouldn't you? Oh, right. Why wouldn't you? I mean, it's it's like a free education. Numbers, Seriously, it's like it a free is. education. I think I think our calling is again. I'm on my back now. Like, what? Where can we have the most powerful impact in our small little bubble of Amen. life? 
Uh, one game this weekend. You going to be watching anything? Anything? College, NFL, anything? anything Tigers. Tigers, baby. Tigers. Tigers. Let's go. Tigers, baby. Come on. Get me out of my chair Tigers, with that one. And, and nothing against Braylon, but I'm kind of, I like to see Minnesota kind of beat them up a little bit. A little bit. Tell them who. Jets? You suck. Who? <laughs> I'm not Boo. a fan of Aaron Rodgers. No, I'm a fan. I like the young kid out of Washington. I like the comeback story in Minnesota. The guy who's been washed Sam up. Sam Darnold. You know, the guy that got no no love at all. No love. I like that. We got a lot of Kirk love Cousins, for you. Michigan State. Michigan. Love. How about we end it with, with Kirk Cousins in Michigan State? Kirk Cousins in Michigan <laughs> State, man. You're Doc, we love you. Michigan Sports and Spine. Dr. Jeff Pierce. Hey, you know what? Check him out. Give him a call. Check out the website. If you got something going on, uh, he's your guy. We love you, Doc. Thanks, guys. My man. Attention sports fans, don't miss out on Expert Sports Injury Insight with Dr. Jeff Pierce of Michigan Sports and Spine. Join Dr. Pierce every Tuesday during Big D Energy and Thursdays during Armani and Edwards where he offers top-notch injury advice. Trust the guy that I trust. Dr. Jeff Pierce is here to keep you in the game and performing at your best. For more information, visit michigansportsandspine.com or call 248-426-9944.